How is that? It's wild. Is it as, is, with all the shocks and it's all the technology? Smart. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah, that's all not as bad as you think. Yeah, not too bad. Okay. Let me know if I need to pull back. One. Yeah. Robbie, wherever you're good. I guess, Rodney, first of all, just uh, how thrilled are you to be back here in Las Vegas where you have won before? Yeah. So you got to feel pretty good at least. Well, the biggest thing is I'm super excited to be back home. Uh, I get to see all my friends and family. Um, so just always coming home is a good thing. And obviously, we've had good success here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. So hopefully, we can repeat that this weekend and uh, grab another trophy. What is the, the, I guess, the trick to winning here in Vegas? Well, every time I come here, I feel like the bumps get bigger and bigger on the racetrack. It might not be too visible um, from the outside, but when you're in the race car, the bumps over in turns one and two are uh, very, very big, and it seems like every year we come back here, they just get bigger. So car handling is going to be huge. Um, I, I think I watched the weather this morning on, uh, on the news, and it might be a little bit windy this weekend, so the wind's going to play a big effect into our race car's handling, and uh, we've got to be able to adapt. That's what I was going to ask you. If there's winds up to 50, gusts or whatever, how does that affect you guys? Well, it just moves the car, just like it, when you're on the highway um, and it's super windy going from Las Vegas to California on those desert roads. The wind kind of moves your car from lane to lane, and um, it does that to our cars too. But we're going 180 miles an hour, so it happens a little bit faster. But the, uh, we just have to take all that into account and uh, be ready for it. Does it make it more dangerous then? I don't think it makes it more dangerous, just more difficult. Uh, more difficult to handle, uh, more difficult to set your race car up for because the winds are gusting, so they're never con uh, constant and they're always changing. So uh, that's the difficult part for sure. Is it harder, you know, like with the wind, um, the inside or outside, you know, but you want to make sure that, you know, if you do get blown over, that you're not going to necessarily hit the car next to you or the wall. Yeah, the biggest thing um, is just trying to be consistent, and the wind is the biggest variable because it's not consistent, so you have to uh, manage your car and uh, relative to the wall and other race cars around you and just kind of keep it going straight. The uh, off-road stuff that you did, if you had to compare the two races and, and, and being a driver in both, what would you say? I would say that the, the NASCAR race is way more intense, way more just physically demanding. Um, the off-road stuff we get to do with my family is a lot more fun, um, a little bit more easygoing, relaxed, but uh, still a race at the end of the day, and luckily we were able to win the Baja 1000 in November, and it was a really fun experience. What, what is that like in a car when you're going over those bumps? And all that Man, stuff? going 100 miles an hour in the desert um, with so much suspension travel, over three-foot bumps, um, you'd think it's really rough, but it's actually pretty smooth, just the technology of the shocks and the suspension. It's uh, helped quite a bit, and it's way smoother than you'd think. How hard is it to make that next level from the uh, Xfinity to the Cup Series? Yeah, we've been very fortunate to get some uh, Cup opportunities last year and uh, some this year as well. So it's all about capitalizing on the opportunities and making the most of them. And uh, hopefully we've uh, done a good job so we can earn some more. Have you watched the Nitro Circus, the Travis Pastrana thing? That's that's in town this week. I haven't. I heard it's uh it's at um, Planet Hollywood, right? Hollywood, yeah, yeah. No, I uh, I might make a stop out Friday after qualifying to see what's going on, but I haven't seen too much about it. It's a little crazy. Is it fun? No, it's fun. It looks, it looks fun. Yeah, I'm it, not it <laughs> I want to go see it. I just wanted to ask you again about the last time you were here, you won on the track. Oh, yeah. How does it feel to be back in Vegas as defending champion on that track? Well, it's super nice um, to come back anywhere you're, where you're defending champion, but just because we won here in the October doesn't mean we're going to win here in March. So we have to continue to work hard, execute properly, and uh, bring a really fast Monster Energy car and try to go dominate. And the last one for me is, I know it's been kind of an up and down start to the season. You know, how, how much is it this week, kind of, you know, the start coming off the two super speedways of, of, of what you're going to be seeing more and more every week? Yeah, well, last September when the schedule came out, um, at least speaking for myself, I kind of dreaded the first two races because back-to-back super speedways, who knows what can happen. Um, just kind of a, a wild card races back-to-back. -back. And luckily we made it through with two finishes, no wrecked race cars, and now we can start racing on real race tracks and uh, start racing on mile and a half. What did you think of that F1 race? Did you watch that by chance, the one here in Vegas? I did. I watched it. It was cool. Um, it was so good for the town, obviously with the Super Bowl. Um, the F1 race, this is the sports entertainment capital of the world now, I think, and uh, we got two NASCAR races, so I, I really enjoy watching the city that I was born and raised in grow and develop into such a, a cool experience. Is there always is there one thing that when you come back to Vegas that you have to do? Yeah, I, uh, it's just good food spots that I miss out east uh, when I come home, so all the local food spots that I uh, 
grew up eating at and obviously seeing my friends and family, that's a, that's a must. Is there one, what, what's, what, what are a couple, what's the name of one that you're your favorite? I like a few. I like uh, John Cutter's up in Summerlin, and I also like the, the new whiskey restaurant um, over on uh, 215 and like Warm Springs. All right. Everybody good? That was fun.